Good morning and welcome to the Truck and Scribe. This is Esther. Um, hope you're having a great morning. I am going to work on some embossing that I've wanted to do for a couple weeks. Oh, so I'm using my Sizzix Big Shot Switch, which just, it's electric. I do have one of the Big Shots downstairs. You got the little button. So this, for me, helps a lot because my hands hurt. So you have this bottom platform. And you have these two plates. You can see mine's been used quite a bit. What I have found is right here on the corners is the name Sizzix. It does seem to help to put that up to where you can read them. Um, so you put your bottom plate on. And I'm going to use these embossing folders today. Let's see how I'm going to use them. I wanted to kind of emboss these little bags that I have. And because this is a big shot, I should be able to emboss a few more to maybe do two at a time. So I stamped these. I like those little bags. I was surprised. I think I used Stays on ink. But you lay these down with your envelope in the middle. So it just opens up like that. And I'm going to be able to do two at a time. So here's my Sizzix that's upright. If this goes through like it should, you should be able to just put it in and it'll catch it and feed it through to the other side. Didn't mean to swirl up the movie. See? And it just comes out back there. I'm going to move my camera a little bit towards back when I do the next set. Oh, wow. Look at those bags. They come out beautiful. So I can um, use some Distress ink on these to make that stand out a little bit more. Let's try these. Oh, yeah. See how pretty they are? It just really gives them a different look. And yesterday, I was working on making these little charms. And to find my box. I keep everything in different boxes. And then I set them up and I can't find them. Here it is. So what I did, I just had some scraps last night, and I took them with these square ones, I took and folded them like this. These are just like, so I made strips about an inch to inch and a half long, and I glued them. Um, these right here are glued. I had some scrap papers that I put on there. And I cut and made little dangle things. Here's another one. I put a little lace on it and some jewels. These were some that I made not too long ago. I don't think I had a video on it. But this one, I think that's a chapter one. Um, paper and it's just on this scrapbook paper. I think that would look really pretty. So I'm going to take some of these and emboss them and see if we can get them to look in like those. I had several of them already glued. I'd rather them be glued together. And that was another thing. If you glue them, 
You might want to wait till the next day to do um, corners and stuff because my corner rounder didn't want to punch very well while I was while the glue was still wet, and the glue helps give it some some stability. So all these are extras in here, and I may find some more little strips like that. Um, basically, I just folded it. Some of them, like, let's see. This one here is just like a folded piece of paper. I just folded it in thirds and glued it. So I'm gonna look at those again in a minute. Let me emboss, see what we can do with embossing these while I got it out. And then maybe we can make some little, so what's gonna be the best way? Shrink this way. just using up scraps. I think I've seen Melina and oh, there was a couple others that have used scraps this way and made little charms. Natasha, I think, did one one time. Um, well, I've seen the video recently. I don't know how recent it is. see this is a problem sometimes that I have with this it just doesn't want to it just gets stuck I don't know if it's me or the machine or if I just got too much so there it goes it's on its own trying to grab these so if I had to send it back through I don't know no, they look like they come through let's go one more time if it'll go just to see if it makes any difference probably if it's gonna mess them up some lace. Do I need any more of this? Oh, I have it. Oh, well, we'll see. I'm just going to set this over here for now in case we need it. And we'll put this back up. It just slides over there in my corner. So, so I've got a few things going here. I don't really know which to do first. I'm going to do these because I do like the way that that, um, I should have had these cut out. I think some of these are going to be too long, but I want to have the botanicals from Tracy Fox. I could use those. So these are from chapter one. They're almost too wide for that right now though, of what I want to do. I made this little thing. It's got um, Tracy stuff in it. Let's see.
got some little tags. Now, I'm, I'm wanting to put this in an ephemera holder because it just, I can't see what's in there, but I like this little pouch. Accordion file holder, I have another one somewhere. Here's another one I made. This one is the um, has Tracy's botanicals or butterflies. I'm not sure. Some of these are so big they wouldn't fit on what I'm working on, but they would make good charms. I actually like the colored ones. I got some in here somewhere. Do a ladybug. More ladybugs. Those are just a little too wide, I think. I could trim them down, but what I would like to do probably is just keep those bigger ones. And that would look good on a little bit bigger piece of paper. I think that one might fit this one too. Something on one. I made this from envelope. I actually I don't think I have posted the video for that yet. So it is in line. If I trim those down, they might would fit, but I don't think so. That would look better on a different color. And this was one of Natasha's things that um, she made the other day, and I tried it and actually wound up messing up and wound up with several because these this one was a 12. So these two were together. And for some crazy reason, I decided I wanted to sew down the middle to compartment mentalize it and you see what happened. So this one I took and put washi tape on the sides and cut that little bit of a, cut this off. So I've got to do that one with this one. This one here, I just went ahead and used cut down paper already. So, let's see what we want to do. I like this red with that. I could trim it down a little bit more. Oh, we got this side too. I'm not so sure how much I am on bugs, but let me see if I can. I'm just trying to make an assortment of stuff while I'm sitting here playing, inking it with vintage photo. Not doing a very good job, am I? I have some journals coming up that I would really like to put these um, different dangles and stuff in. So, let's see. Could glue that right there. Take up a lot. But oh, I actually kind of like this. Have any of oh. That's 
on the page. I have that pretty. And we can use a little piece of this. See how it's already a little torn in some spots, but that's okay because I like using the smaller pieces anyway. What I do with it? There it is. So I can get my stuff out of the way. What if I put that right there? Or I could have put it under it. I, I think I'm too late. Maybe not. Maybe not. If I do it like that. Yeah. I'm going to leave it sticking out a little bit. My lace over here getting color on it. I need this up. And I'm doing both sides of this because you may see the back side, maybe not. It but dangles and stuff. They show up. I'm going to try and see what that looks like. It shows up a little bit. Um, I have this lace, but so it kind of goes over completely. Some of my coffee dyed paper that I really, really like. I wonder if I put you down here. Is that too much? I don't think I'm going to put it straight though. I like the pink, the purple we can use on something else. Could put a little bit of this on here. Let's see. I'm trying to empty this bottle so I can get my bluebell bottle, but I'm starting to learn how to use this little 50 cent bottle. I got it from the Dollar Tree. And if you remember to close it when you sit it back down, it does seem to do pretty good with, in this little bottle, it's easy to press out. I need my... And for my sewing, that's what I use this for. But it has come in really nice to... these so what I'm gonna do and then we'll make one or two more I've got it set on the one eighth inch side I'm gonna tell you I'm not real happy with these little things are hard for my hands to to do I ordered some different kinds to see but I'm always losing all of them so for this particular one, I've got it set on 3C. You 
could put this on here. Actually, I'm going to put one of these little beads I got at um, Hobby Lobby yesterday. It's a purple one, I don't know. Green. Will it fit on there and hold it? Oh, those are going to be too big for that. Have some more somewhere. Maybe that blue one. And then you can just stick this onto a book page, which I do not have. Let's pretend this is like a side of a book page, so you could put it there. I would probably punch a hole in it first, but, um, yeah. So for pretending this is a book page, it would look pretty good hanging from there. So let's do another one real quick, see what we want to do. Um, I have this pretty purple. I want to try and keep that part, so I'm going to cut one layer and maybe one layer. I'll go ahead and ink it up. So. I just used scraps. That's all this is, is my scraps and layered up to make the, the card thicker. Think on that, maybe it'll show up a little bit better. That one did. Can you see it? I can. I do this too while I got it out. But I'm not sure which side is the right way up. That side the bumpy side right here. So let's try this. So even though I embossed this vellum and it has some some tears in it and different I don't see any on this part of it. Definitely this other part somewhere. Hey y'all, I must be going crazy. Maybe it's not. It must have been just this one part that I'm using right now. So, I don't want to have my butterfly, but put that right there. A little book page. Yeah, Miss E has got me to where I'm using book page more. Make that a little bit smaller. some of this lace or actually where did that purple go I have this that I could put across it and 
me think. Could stick it back there. I yeah, like that. like that and then you go right here okay put a little bit of this on there we're just layering that's all I'm doing I'm not sure why, but my hands have been bothering me. I would like to have something right there. What do we got over here? We've got dates. What about this one? Yeah, I'm going to trim it down though. I don't know if it's arthritis or what the problem is with my hands, but some days it's hard to move them. I don't know, I'm just getting old is what I say a lot, but I've had this since my 30s, so maybe one day. So do I want to put it right there? More up, up a little bit. I don't know. I could put it down here. I don't want to have my butterfly. So, if I just dropped it, I wonder where it would go. Right there. How does that work? Just drop it in. That's the way they go, huh? We had to start doing that. Just have any left a little bit that may come out of there. So I'm really just stacking these up. I think what I'm gonna do is Punch my little grommet hole right there. And get a few of these out so we can get them off this. And then it's time to go get my nails done because Let's go. We'll just put a few out right there. Maybe I can keep up with them. So this one's purple. I like this little bead. I wonder if it'll fit on there right. If it's too big. Oh, it's pretty good. So there's another one. I could put an orange one on there to really make it stand out. Let's see. And I don't want to come off. Is that going to be too much? Maybe, maybe not. I guess it depends on what you think. There's another one. 
So let's go ahead and make a few more while I have it. So I have those. I have these that were folded. And you know what I didn't do was round the corners. I do want to round the corners. This one is not quite as thick, but that's okay. See there a little bit. I may have to get my big chompers out. I think I will. These little ones are just not made for, and you don't have to have them. You can just do like this and trim them, or you can leave them square. It's really up to you. I just kind of like when they're rounded like that. So I'm not going to be able to get this one at all. Inch, not the so that looks pretty good. I have it. Let me go ahead and do a few of these. This one I'm going to cut off. Maybe about right there. I'm not a straight cutter, so sorry. That's part of the handmade thing, though. Do I want to cut that little bit green off? Yeah. So this would make just a cute little tag by itself. Put a little. Really, with the embossing, may not even need anything. This one too, I could trim it down to right there, which I think I'm going to do just because I have the chompers out. I'm going to leave that little bit of yellow that's poking out because I like it. So yeah, pre-glue um, all of this. It makes it a little bit easier than um, trying to do it while they're wet. I'm just going to go ahead and cut some of these and chunk them. And you can make them bigger or smaller. I'm just kind of trying to vary the sizes but not measure at the same time. Some of these can go in some of my upcoming journals, the brighter colors. and. I'm going to try and get some more made tonight that can go, that has different colors, that can go in, um, but, so I've made two, and I will come back in and show you another picture of some more that I've made. Of course, you, I've got these two that I worked on last night. These are all from the same little... And this here is just folded over paper that I'm going to try and... I may not even do much with this one. Put a little piece of Velcro on or them. So I will be back with a quick 
shot when I get done a picture so you can see some of them that I get from these and we'll go from there thank you and I hope you've enjoyed your morning with me and if you have time or would like to please subscribe so you can get more videos uh, as I put them up check out um, the truck and scribe all you gotta do is google the truck and scribe it'll bring up my Etsy shop my go imagine shop my website and all my social media that I'm trying to get better at but thank you and have a great day.